Hi everyone, this is Brian Hayes and welcome to volume two in our series on how to play trills on the saxophone. Today I want to start with what I call a sliding trill. This is where a melody moves up and down, but a trill is sustained throughout regardless of what the notes in the melody are doing. Like this. The sliding trill effect is one of the most common ornaments used on the saxophone. I'm demonstrating obviously today on the alto sax, but the soprano, alto, tenor and baritone players down through the ages have all used a sliding trill as part of the excitement that they can build in their solos. I first come across it on a recording by the late great Julian Adderley, Cannonball Adderley, one of the best alto sax players that has ever lived. If you haven't checked out Cannonball Adderley, please do so. What I played a minute ago was just a four note chromatic melody. I had the octave key on and I played G, G sharp, A, A sharp. I just used the one finger, the normal B flat fingering on the saxophone. So I went G, G sharp, A, A sharp, A, G sharp, G. And I just repeated that. So the melody was very, very simple. Just this. But the distraction throughout the melody, the trill, the sliding trill, was created by, for the notes G, G sharp and A, constantly trilling the bottom right hand side trill key. The one we would normally use for A to A sharp. But I used that trill key while I was playing G and G sharp and A. And when I moved up to the A sharp, I moved up to the middle trill key. So the, the key that we would normally apply for B natural to C natural, I applied that trill key when I was playing the B flat. And then when I went back down, I went back to the bottom trill key for the A, the G sharp and the G. The sliding trill is equally as effective on the tenor saxophone. And that same fingering and the same trill would sound like this. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the concept of the sliding trill. Perhaps today it's the first time that you've seen how it's done. I know for me, for 10 years or so, it was an absolute mystery. I grew up in the pre-internet era, and it was very hard to see players' hands. I could see still photographs, but very rarely would you see a video close up enough on a saxophone player to actually see what he or she was doing. So hopefully today I've helped you a little bit if you were unaware of how that famous sound on the saxophone is produced. Now, I've only chosen one melody, four notes there, G, G sharp, A and A sharp. There are many other combinations of keys on the saxophone and there's really no set rules as to which keys you can use to apply the trill effects. So be creative, explore your instrument, explore the sounds in your mind and see if you can get them out through your saxophone. I'm going to finish this tutorial with a short extract from a recording I did in the mid-1990s of an original composition called Hip Hop You Don't Stop. This has been a very successful tune for me. I played all of the instruments and produced the recording. I'm going to just let you listen to the alto sax solo because I actually do use a sliding trill in this solo. I certainly wasn't thinking at the time I recorded it that I should do it so that you know, 20 years down the track when I'm doing some YouTube tutorials, I can use this track as a demonstration. It's been part of my playing for many, many decades. It just comes out when I play, the sliding trill will occasionally just surface and I've played it before I think of it. And that's what will happen for you once you master the technique. Keep in touch as always via my website. Drop me an email if you have any fundamental questions about playing the saxophone. And be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Bye for now.